What's a YouTube channel without a gear haul video? In this video, we're gonna cover the stuff that we've received from Rev Gear over the past couple weeks. We received four different pairs of gloves, a lot of stuff for our pro shop, as well as some stuff for me to use personally. Also, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I choose Rev Gear for my gear and for the pro shop. Now, full disclaimer before we get started, we do have a working relationship with Rev Gear. We have a wholesale account with them. They provide us a discount to stock their products and they send me things for free to test out and for my personal use. But this is gonna be a complete, unbiased, honest review. My integrity can be bought, but not for a pair of gloves. What's up guys, I'm Mike at RKM Training and this is Hard to Hurt, a channel dedicated to fitness and self-defense where we do fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews like this, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt. Before I jump into this new stuff, I wanted to take a second to tell you about the stuff we got in our first shipment from Rev Gear, and that's the kids' line of gloves, shin guards, headgear, cute little kids' wraps. If you have a kids' program and a pro shop, this is the gear set that I recommend. It's the right price point. It's not super expensive, but it's also not cheap crap like a lot of companies try to pass off as kids' gear. It's decent gear for a really good price. They also sent us a pair of these micro tie pads to try out. And these things are awesome. I did gear reviews on both those. Oh shit. I've done in-depth reviews on these two products. I'll put a card up there as well as a link in the description below to the reviews on those. So let's get into the new stuff. We got a ton of gloves. We got four different gloves because they come in at four different price points, which is important to give people options. We also got the hand wraps from Rev Gear, and these are pretty much your standard semi-elastic or Mexican style hand wraps. I really like these. I've started using these instead of the ones I was using. These orange ones are gonna be mine. What we're using as our entry level glove is going to be the deluxe boxing glove. These are a really inexpensive glove. This would be great if you need loaners for your gym. I wouldn't go much cheaper than this. For the price point, these are really nice. These are the 12 ounce ones and I'm not wearing hand wraps and they just barely fit. I can wear 12 ounces without hand wraps. Not that you should ever wear gloves without hand wraps in some of the other brands. These are a little snug, but Guys, for the price point of these, these are a pretty nice pair of gloves. Not much decoration, but they got a kind of classic look. Uh, they come in different colors. The next step up is the Pro Leather Training Glove. Price-wise, this glove is in line with what you would pay at like Dick's or something for the gloves that they have there. But these are way better. There's a lot of cushion in there. These are, these are better. Padding is way more substantial right here. Yeah, there's not a lot going on like aesthetically, but that's not what these are for. These are a great entry level glove. People want to spend a little more than the deluxe. Got the, this is the pro leather in bubble gum, Pepto Bismol pink, because you got to have pink boxing gloves when the basic chicks come in here and want to box. I'm not saying you're basic if you buy pink gloves. I'm saying that basic girls buy pink gloves. This is the glove I'm excited about. I, I want a pair of these gloves. This is the original leather glove. I really like the way these look. These look really good. These things are snug though. This is a pair of 12 ounce gloves. If I had hand wraps on, the 12 ounce would be a little too tight. I don't have big hands, but these are still a little bit snug. I probably have to go with the 14 ounce at least or probably the 16 ounce. We got these in red, black and white. This, these look cool. These look really cool. And I already know somebody who wants these. I ordered the yellow and the blue ones and on the picture they have sort of like a metallic kind of sheen to them. They look a lot flatter in person. This is not gold. It's not gold. The blue one's not electric blue. It's just a flat, this is just yellow. It's a vibrant yellow, it's a rich yellow. It looks pretty cool if you're into yellow or into blue, I'm not. So the blue ones, they're more like a royal blue. There's no like metallic sheen to them. I'm a black and red and orange kind of guy. The lettering on there just looks sharp. I think that looks really cool. Well made. These are really nice. This is a really nice pair of gloves. This would be probably what I recommend. We got one more pair of gloves to check out. These are the Sentinels, and they're a little more expensive than the original leather. I got them in these because I figured some housewife that is in here doing cardio kickboxing will think, oh my god, these are cute. I'd be like a real kickboxer. These have a little more going on graphic-wise, but let's check them out. They're better. Yeah, these are definitely better. These already feel like broken in. 
This is a pair of 12 ounces. I don't have hand wraps on. I'd probably need 14 in these at least. I got tiny hands. I'm not ashamed of that. Wow, these already feel broken in. These are really soft with really thick padding. If someone wanted to spend a little bit more money on a pair of gloves and they're gonna be hitting a heavy bag, I would really recommend these. These are a nice pair of gloves and I think they're cute. Oh, I got a, a little bonus. These are the deluxe kids gloves. I ordered some gloves for my son and some of the bigger kids. It's a 10 ounce glove. I got him an eight ounce glove. These have a little more structure to them than like the kids kids gloves. These would be good if your kids are considering competing in something like an IKF, uh, you know, point kickboxing tournament or something like that. These are a really nice pair of gloves. You know what? These are comparable. These are comparable to a uh, pricier brand of kids gloves. And these are way less expensive. Now they sent me some stuff for me personally. They sent me a pair of their Spartan blank fight shorts and these shorts are really nice. They do have a pocket, but no zippers, which is important if you're actually gonna train in them. Stretchy in the groin, split up the sides for your high kicks and stuff. They're a really cool pair of shorts, but there was a little problem with these shorts and me specifically. These are really nice, but they're a little long in the... No, like the distance, no. The distance on my body from here to here. No, I don't need them hemmed. I need like the top hemmed. When I do this, they have to pop. Like my dis the distance from my, like from my hip bone, like vertically speaking, from my hip bone down to a line even with my nutsack. Can I do this? I can just wear them like that. Is that cool? Can I roll? Can I roll my, my shorts over for MMA? Like that distance is, I'm, is too short. I'm not shaped like regular people. So they sent me, just totally because they wanted me to have some Rev Gear shorts, some of the Centurion shorts. That's much more like it. This is a great pair of shorts. They're really light, really comfortable, stretchy in the crotch, and not too whatever. And now these shorts are super comfortable, fit really nicely. I really appreciate the guys at Rev Gear looking out for the little guy, literally and figuratively. But I have to provide my own gloves for this fight because it's an underground fight club on YouTube because I'm an insane person. So they sent me a pair of Cage Master MMA gloves. I told them I didn't have a lot of time to break them in and that I wasn't going to be able to, you know, uh, practice with the gloves in particular a lot. So I needed something soft and flexible that wouldn't need a lot of break in. So they sent me the Cage Master MMA gloves. No thumb, so I can be a little more dexterous with my. I'm not. I'm not pummeling. I just do this. They're a little stiff. I'm gonna have to break them in a little bit, which uh, I think I'll show to you guys how I do that. Here's how you break in some gloves when you're not gonna break them in by actually doing any training. Get them folded over, push them up under that plate right there. Fold them over a little more than you think you're gonna need to. And then once you get those right there, check this out. Then you put your biggest Whoa, shit. Then you put your biggest, baddest dumbbells on there. Then you leave them just like that for a couple weeks. Now I gotta clean all this shit up. Pink hand wraps. So that's our Rev Gear gear haul. Our Rev Gear haul. I really appreciate Rev Gear. They look out for me. They have worked with me and made sure that I have what I need. They've done really good by us with our wholesale account for our pro shop. And Rev Gear to me is one of the better companies that's like in the middle. There's more expensive stuff out there. Their higher end stuff is really nice, but they have a lot of price points for gear all along the way where you're not having to sacrifice quality to save a little bit of money. Hopefully soon I'm gonna have their complete line of original Thai stuff. That's their new stuff that's coming out. It looks really cool. I have the Thai pads on order and I'm hoping to get my hands 
on some of the gloves and shin guards from that line. Keep checking back with us for gear reviews. I'll put links in the description below to as much of this stuff as I can and also to reviews, in-depth reviews that we've done on some of this other gear. Now, if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you click this subscribe button right here. Click this button. You must click this button right now. Also, I'm gonna put some videos over here, some more gear reviews from this channel. Stay tuned. We're gonna be doing full in-depth reviews on more gear, giving more fitness tips and more self-defense techniques on hard to hurt.